everyone, and AK Apricot Sushi here, and today we're playing Sumiko Gurashi Atsumare Sumiko Town, or Gather Sumiko Town. This is a Sumiko Gurashi town building game, which is super adorable, as you can see already. You can fully customize your town in terms of layout, and then as you build more things, the more Sumiko will come to live there. So it's kind of like an ant farm in some ways because there's a lot of watching your Sumiko do cute stuff but if you like cute stuff then you know that's fun. <laughs> so here's the main menu. You can start a new game, continue, play the mini games that you unlock in the main game in one to four player mode. And then there's also this tarot reading, your fortune reading, so you can get your fortune done for the day if you want to see what your lucky item is or something like that. Just a cute thing to have. So it's nighttime here in my town. It's not on a day night cycle like Animal Crossing where it's real time, but it goes pretty quickly through day and night in the town. It doesn't really affect a whole lot aside from everyone going to sleep. So there's not really anyone out to see right now. As you can see in the top left hand corner, there's a bunch of information about my town. It's named Anne Town, very uh, boringly. And you've also got the town level, which for me is currently at four stars, and then my money, and of course what time of day it is, which you can tell it's nighttime from the way the town looks, but it lets you know in the top left corner anyway. <laughs> so I'm just collecting these little sparkles that randomly appear throughout the town. They usually give you money or sometimes tickets to pull and uh, do the gotcha pulls. So I'll do that later to show you what that's like, but there are certain items, costumes, and stickers mostly that you can only get in the gacha. So I've also planted some fruits and vegetables. So we got cucumbers and tomatoes over here you can collect. Now these are items that you can then put down in the town for your sumiko to interact with. Namely eight. I assume they're eating everything that I'm putting down. Though I don't really know because I haven't seen them do it even though the things disappear somehow. <laughs> so here we go. My shop's earning me money. And this tower thing in the middle with the red base, that is something that your Sumikos work on building every time your town levels up. So I assume at five stars it will be completed, but I'm not sure exactly what that means since I haven't gotten there yet. Here you go. Here's a snail Sumiko and you can pet him or you can actually push the X button to follow the Sumiko. So this is if you want to follow a Sumiko around to see what they're doing and maybe get a rare screenshot of them doing something interesting, you can follow them. Now this guy here wants me to do something, so I'm going to click on him with the A button to interact with him. We get some comfort points to level up the town as he jumps in the box, because what Sumiko doesn't like a box. <laughs> Apparently they all have boxes, which is why I put so many around the town, because you get a few points every time you interact with the Sumiko with the little exclamation mark on their head. And gather some fruit from my trees. The trees also give you money and stuff too. It's very weird. Why are the plants giving me money? I don't know. So this is one of the costume items I have. The little hat. Hard hat. <laughs> And this guy can have a crown. So I guess that certain items can only be equipped on certain Sumiko, like the big ones, uh, like Tokage, the main ones. They have special outfits that only they can wear. And just give everybody a pat, get some of those points. <laughs> Why not? It's adorable. But stuff really happens a lot now that I've really built things up, but the first couple of stars was pretty slow going because you don't have a lot in your town and it takes a while to save up money. But now it's like I can kind of go around and just keep collecting money from the stores, keep interacting with Sumiko, I can go check inside a house, but there's nothing to do really aside from look at the inside of the house. Nobody's sleeping in this one right now apparently. Even though the light's on, very mysterious. Go over here and see what this fellow wants to do. Probably jump in this car box. There he goes. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Things are pretty quiet at night, honestly. 
I hope it turns today soon so you can see more of my Sumiko. So as you build stuff, the Sumiko will come move into your town, like certain stores will attract certain Sumiko. Oh, look, he's in the pipe. Oh. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as I was saying, new Sumiko will move in and there is... What on earth is that noise? I have no idea what that was. Somebody doing something. Yes, there are a certain number of Sumiko that can move into your town. <laughs> I better rush before something else happens here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it, basically. And I have all of them. So I think it's... I'm not sure how many it is. 30? Maybe? And you can tell them which house to live in. They can live up to two in a house. Or you can build them all their own individual houses if you really want. So I got a busy, bustling town. Oh, and here we go. It's daytime now. Some more stuff will happen. This music, I have to tell you, is a real earworm. I found myself humming it <laughs> during the day. Kind of drives you mad after a while, but cute enough. Oh, here's a sticker. So these stickers you can collect, as I said, from the gacha or the random sparkles. They don't really do anything. You just have a sticker book that you can admire. Seems very much like uh, mobile gamey sort of collectible stuff to me, which I'm not really into. I don't have a big collector's bone. I don't know what we say. Collector, collector streak <laughs> in me. Uh, speaking of collections though, here is my percentages of doing the different tasks, goals of the game. So you can come in here and check to see what you need to do. So they want me to build the tower. If I build the tower, I'll get a bunch of money. And then you can see ones that you've cleared already. So this is another way you get money and your town comfort points. So as you can see, I've got a lot for Tonkatsu, and a lot of these involving the Sumiko actually require screenshots of them doing the different things, like if you buy an onigiri set and then they eat it, take a screenshot of them in action and you'll fulfill that requirement. So that's the in-game screenshot actually, there's you can push plus or minus to do that, not the switches screenshot functionality. So I'm just going to show you a cute little vignette here you get when you build the vegetable stand. So if you build different shops, the different sumiko will have special little stories related to those things that you unlock. So of course Kappa loves his cucumbers so he made some, looks like cucumber pocky. Everybody's a little apprehensive about trying it. <laughs> No, Tokage says, no, I'm okay. And then he thinks he's off the hook, but no! <laughs> he's gonna give him an extra big one. So I don't really know how to unlock all of these. I think I've unlocked one for each character so far, but like I haven't unlocked the second Kappa one. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So I've got the first one, but not the second one, and I'm not really sure what the requirements are for that. But the first one is definitely when you build certain stores. Now in the top right corner you can see it's got this little announcement that's telling me that I've got mini games with a daily bonus. So every day, in-game day, they'll give you no mini games with a bonus of like a hundred, I think, coins, which isn't a ton. But everything helps. Oh, here we go. This is where my stickers are. So you can review all of the stickers that you have in here. Very exciting. I mean, they are cute. Look at that. They're adorable. And this menu is great too. Is it weird that I'm gushing about the menu? But like just the whole design is adorable. I could just look at it for ages. <laughs> Which I mean, I guess is what you're doing. Since there's not much else to do rather than look at the sticker. It's so silly to have rarity too, you know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe if you're really proud of yourself if you get a three rarity sticker, I'm not sure. Okay, here are the mini games, as you can see, I haven't unlocked one yet. They unlock when you build certain things or expand your town. I'm gonna do this one with the daily bonus on it. There are three difficulty levels, I'm gonna go for hard, because honestly, the mini games are not that hard. Except for one that I seem to have a really hard time with because the computer keeps beating me. 
I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> but this is a simple like find the Sumikos when they pop out thing and you have to click on them with your cursor as fast as possible because you're playing against three computers. You'll see in a second here. So I'm player one. Wish me luck. Oh, they're so fast. <laughs> see, I get them right when they poke out. Oh, and that mole is worth 50 points, so I want to make sure to get him. As I said earlier, you can play all of the mini games from the main menu for one to four players, so you can practice or play with your friends if you want. But I've only been playing this game single player. Okay, I gotta win this. I gotta focus here. <laughs> okay, last one is like a free-for-all. Just get as many as you can. Go! <laughs> They're everywhere! I think these little guys are called tapioca? <laughs> I guess they're supposed to be tapioca balls. Either way, they're cute. I don't care what they are. Alright, not bad, not bad. I think Sugoi is not the best. I think Kompeki is perfect, it's the best. Sugoi is more like, wow. So you have to get a certain point. Oh, there's my bonus. Oh, my bonus was comfort points today, not uh, money, which is helpful. I like the town comfort points more than money, honestly. Okay, I'll show you the town building now. So you can go in and move everything around on the grid however you like. Turn in whatever direction, put it away, build multiples of different buildings and things. As you can see here, these are all of the stores. So things that would earn you money generally and have different events associated with them. This just unlocked it for me. All these wooden statues that are really expensive of all the different main Sumiko characters. I've been saving up. So I'm gonna get one. I imagine that this will get me a lot of town points <laughs> by building it. So let's put it in a spot of honor by the special tower here. You can't put it in that green perimeter, so you have to put it a little ways away. Well, let's see if that does anything. Okay, so we'll cancel out of the town building. Auto saves pretty much whenever you do something in the menu, I think. There we go. Got I cleared something and got 50 town points. So now I'll show you what the gotcha looks like. This is one of those things where you like stick your hand in and pull out a ticket. You can pick which Sumiko will do the honors for you. Maybe you've got a lucky one. <laughs> I don't really mind. I kind of switch off. So now it will be Shirokuma. He's going to stick his little stub arm in and pull out a piece of paper that will have a symbol on it. Or no symbol! Okay, that's not the best. <laughs> I think that's the worst one. We get random stuff from in there. We want a little like swirly flower kind of design. That is usually a costume. So let's see. Oh yay! There it is! a little crown and we can put on some of them. Speaking of costumes, I'm pretty sure all these guys have costumes. Somehow I unequipped them or something, so I'll have to show you that later. Oh yay, another one! Oh look, it's a little apron. That's adorable. And by the way, I will talk about this in my review, but there is a lot of furigana in this, so if you don't know your kanji super well, but you want to practice your Japanese, this might be a good game for that. It's a little hard because you need to kind of get in the groove of figuring out how to use the menus and fulfill requests and that sort of thing, but you can kind of get a hang of it with a relatively low level Japanese, I think. If you watch this video, you'll kind of get the general flow of what to do and there's not much beyond what I'm showing you here. Oh, so these are my items. As I mentioned earlier, you pick up things from plants or you happen to have a fish for some reason. Oh, fish from my pond, I think. 
can also buy items from the shop, food items and things. Now, these think you put down in your town and then Sumiko will come eat them or do something with them. Honestly, I've never actually seen them do anything, but I have seen the items disappear. Whoa, that's that's a problem. Let's try that again. <laughs> I think I want to show you a costume here. But, oh! Well, now he's gone to work. So he's in his work outfit. We can't equip him with anything. Here, let's try. Oh, the cat, Nicole, doesn't have a costume, so we can't equip anything. The left option was grayed out there, as you can see. Let's find someone to put a costume on. Anyone around? Oh, well, we gotta take out Tonkatsu doing the okonomiyaki here. Oh, hey! That was something I needed to do! I cleared something and I got money from taking that screenshot. So that was me taking an in-game screenshot, which removes the menus and stuff. It's really cute. If you love taking screenshots of cute stuff, then you're gonna love it. <laughs> I have certainly taken a ton of screenshots. Okay, now we can put some outfits on Tokage here. So we're gonna put his little sailor outfit on. So cute. Take a screenshot. Just see what he's gonna do here. Oh, going to work at the art store. All right. Hello! Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> oh my god, what is he doing? I've never seen him do that. What is this? Oh, he's sleeping. So he went to work and immediately fell to sleep. What a life. <laughs> Wish I could sleep like that on the job. Get some money from my flowers, because why not? Is the music annoying you yet? I know it's in my head. <laughs> Check out the ice cream shop. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So adorable. Oh, and we cleared another one. That's awesome. Got a bunch of money from that. So as you can see, taking screenshots really is the way to get money. Just take screenshots of them doing everything. I have a hard time getting them to do the stuff where they need to like interact with items or certain stores and things. Oh, there's another one. Awesome. But I'm sure you just watch them long enough, they'll do it. I don't know. Like I've never seen anyone use that thing, the board with the holes in it, but it would be cute if they did. They sure love jumping in these boxes though, if I can click it. The pointer is rather hard to maneuver. I'm using the analog sticks. Unfortunately, there's no touch screen option on the handheld mode of the Switch. I'm playing on the TV right now though. But it is fun to play in handheld mode before bed, but it often puts me to sleep with this music and its slow pace. <laughs> so if you want to relax in game, this might be a good one. We've got the onsen here. And the little coffee shop! Look, the coffee bean is serving coffee! So cute. I even put that open sign there so you can put signs, stores. There's even different floor patterns, which I really haven't bothered with. But, you know, if you like to get fancy in Animal Crossing, you might really enjoy customizing your town and that sort of thing. Okay, so I'll show you the shop here. Oh, well first... Yeah, so this is a uh, expansion if you want to buy more land to expand your town. I spent all my money on that weird wooden statue, so I'll have to buy that later. But here are the different items you can buy, like cat grass or coffee or donuts. I haven't really spent too much time doing this because I've been getting a lot of items just from fulfilling stuff in the town. But I should try more of these because I'm sure there are lots of different goals related to taking screenshots of the different Sumiko eating things or holding things or whatever. Lots of stuff to do. <laughs> okay, let's look at my items here. Tea set. Lunch. How about a pizza? I wonder who would like a pizza. I could check that thing I showed you earlier, which shows you all of the different uh, goals to complete. But it's a bit tedious going back and forth into that menu and remembering like, oh, which Sumiko was supposed to do which thing? I can't remember it all. So 
So I'll just put a pizza down and hope somebody go checks out my pizza. <laughs> I have to show you this one. Where's he going? Do you know Fuji-san? Well, he's Mount Fuji, but he's a Sumiko. I don't really get it. How does he have legs? I don't know, but it's cute. We'll give him a pat. And give him a party hat! Oh my god, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Mount Fuji with a party hat. And his little stub legs. I love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more thing I can show you is the crane! The claw. Crane machine claw. You can pick up Sumiko and move them around. I assume this is one way to get them to do the things you want them to do. If it's red... Oh, where'd he go? If it's red, you can't dump them there. So I think he went flying somewhere else. Oh, let me grab him. Here we go. Oh, poor guy. Alright, come over here. See if you like pizza. So yeah, I think you can plop them down in front of things and hopefully they'll interact with them, but even then I haven't really gotten any luck, had any luck doing this. Eat the pizza. So he looks kind of stunned. I mean, it's kind of terrorizing them, isn't it? Picking them up by the <laughs> crane claw and- oh, he's had enough of that. Well, just as he is over it, I guess this is a good place to end today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this introduction to the game. You can read my full review via the link in the description below. And super big extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters for selecting this import review game and making it possible. You can get the details of my Patreon in the description below too. Thanks again and I'll see you all soon!